Let's play a game. You tell me who these women are. Does my art bear more than a passing resemblance? If so, my eyes apparently work better than entire studios. Please comment who you think they are below and continue to do so for my other art that I've sprinkled in throughout this video. This is the objectively bad movie Catwoman. Not only is the star black, but she's also a woman, which to identity-obsessed Twitter goblins makes her a fiercely important POC. Their words, a bad movie doesn't scratch the surface of this flick, but if one thing's certain, it's that if Catwoman came out today and we reacted exactly the same way we did, we would be called racist and sexist for not liking it. Like and subscribe, support and join the Discord because I need you to keep me where the good shit is. I've witnessed entire communities spring up overnight with the specific intent of barring the perpetually offended from their platforms because of the woke Twitter cults small-minded inability to engage with anything unless it quote represents them could they just leave it alone the way they tell us to when we don't like something no they're gonna keep screeching about how unfair and immoral it is and comedically in scenarios where the whining losers are represented you immediately see them jump to other demands because it's not enough it's never enough, but it gets worse than that. Time and time again, we find that not only do these people endeavor to alter, censor, and erase whatever they don't like, they also attempt to demand a standard that they themselves do not meet or observe. See any of the videos on activists posing as games journalists. Thank God they've been replaced by AI already. They represent all white organizations, yet demand diversity in Japanese and Eastern games. They used to call us nerds losers, but now these woke, offended by everything filled diapers are digging underground just to carve themselves lower on the totem pole. Because you're so oppressed, right? <laughs> Next time we build something, we're keeping these people the hell out. What is gatekeeping? Gatekeeping is defined as the activity of controlling and usually limiting general access to something. Amusingly, Googling gatekeeping will bring up the second definition as it pertains to computing, and you have no idea how significant and beneficial gatekeeping in this context and honestly in all contexts can be a feminist grifter that is hilariously a detriment to their own cause would say that it's people man spreading to keep people out of their space that they have every right to be in but in reality some places are invite only and typically the majority of people using the term gatekeeping mean it as visualized here what people think gatekeeping is can we join no what gatekeeping actually is change literally everything about what you all enjoy and make it not fun for anyone so i can join no <laughs> it seems like an exaggeration <laughs> But the people complaining about meeting resistance when they can't roll into something that they know nothing about and honestly don't care about because they want to call shots and alter all of this. It's funny specifically because you listening to this have likely met somebody like that already. But when it comes to your preferences, th that's irrelevant. Does that seem fair? <sighs> well... It's time for us to decide what the new fair is going to be, since they were so desperate to change what the old fair was. I'm watching platforms for artists like Miss Key, 
desperately block Western losers attempting to compromise people's joy by telling them to check their hormone treatment at the door, reminding them that the block and filter buttons work. It's honestly so refreshing because one of my favorite memes is just a tweet by Tyler the Creator back when Twitter was less bitch made. The word that they would use for their behavior is toxic. Toxic like a workplace that ousts anybody who isn't, quote, progressive. That's exactly what Disney did. And it's exactly why movies have cratered in quality. To make something abundantly clear, Disney is irrelevant to me, but woke, my definition explained in this video, has infested my media. It has poisoned my outlets and compromised the intent of entertainment. To any identity Twitter people listening, imagine that with like emoji claps in the middle if, it, if it's more palatable for you. Creativity, passion, and imagination are what allowed ideas to take flight. And I'm watching them actively stifled, suppressed, censored, and erased by a cult of triggered psychopaths that realized that pretending to be offended on other people's behalf could get them the power and attention they've always dreamed of having. They weren't going to get it for being pretty or talented, certainly not for exerting any real effort into anything other than ruining things for other people, but misery came naturally, and they've got a lot to spare. I've laughed until I've cried, thinking about just these people, these identity-obsessed pussies, calling me names for having a functional eye and a functional ear, for quality, for being honest. For the blatantly and deliberately low quality regressions that woke Twitter puppets and billionaires were glad to infest Western culture with until the cancerous growth metastasized. I proudly accept hater, coomer, whatever words Twitter's magical creatures want to throw because I know there are real people like me who love and were inspired by the creativity on display in old Disney works and now in old everything. I guess I missed the memo on them needing to be my skin color or my gender, you know what I mean? Thank God I wasn't so narrow-minded and weak. We share your pain having watched some comics, games, sci-fi, and fantasy be destroyed your property seized and used as a platform for a nauseating message, a brand assassinated? Okay. The reward for irresponsible stupidity and so frightening a capacity that single uttered phrases can swear people off your products for a lifetime is so much less terrible than you deserve. Racism sucks, but if I owned a bar, I'd hire some white guys and some big titty women to be the front-facing portion to really get that money out of people's wallets. Oh no, a racist has come in the door. I have reason to believe his money's any different than everybody else's. Do you get what I'm saying? Couldn't I do better things with his money than I would like to believe that he might? You let your emotions get in the way of business and... A fool in his money. Beta testers, listeners, please like, subscribe. I'm happy to have you as a family of like-minded, reasonable people. Where were we to establish joint businesses? We would never hold company-wide calls and conferences talking about how specifically we're going to indoctrinate children with. It's just not intelligent, do you know what I mean? And if it were your intent, holding these calls to proudly do it as if you're, you're fools. And man oh man do I want distance from Disney and anyone with those mentalities in any of the projects that I consume, I look to you for your help in keeping me aware 
because I hate the idea of being one of them guys with a chart full of brands and knowing, oh, I can't fund that because of it. But honestly, these people don't deserve work. We would never be so stupid as to plaster an ugly woman on the box of a video game and flatten and cover up exclusively the, the women, but squawk, diversity, squawk, inclusion. The renaissance enabling OG Little Mermaid achieved feats musically alone that make it immortal. The new one had no such desire. You could tell from who they hired. The music simply didn't matter. Last night I tried to play Call of Duty and spent over 30 minutes in matchmaking. A series of SBMM algorithmic nightmares. But you better believe that when the game launched those pride flags and skin condition default girl was ready to go. Cause the message was more important. Everything else, a functioning game, that didn't matter. But it matters to me. People having an outlet to de-stress, to unwind, to let off steam, to get their rocks off, that matters to me. I know pain. My desperation isn't to share that with as many people as possible. It's to spare as many as I can from as much as I can tolerate. But. The woke Twitter identity mob wants to spread their misery and attempt to control using a tactic that allowed billionaires to use them and their hollow asses as the puppets they were born to be. In our kindness, we may have let some of them in, shrugged off a shit movie or game or two or three, but now you see the harm their tricks are revealed and it is all on you to make decisions whether or not to support people to whom it doesn't matter. These clowns expect handouts for a job they do worse than AI can do in seconds. It's laughable as expecting to sell microtransactions and games with ugly women, uh, shows with terrible writing. The counter message became vote with your wallets, but if I may amend it to specify, fund what you want. Find content that appeals and caters to you. Create it if it's not there. Autour your vision and stand firm against people who seek to ruin it because it's not enough of what they want. If they want something different, they can make it themselves. Don't like it? Don't buy it. Woke media is free to deny people entertaining, inspired, and satisfying content. But the content AI will help single individuals create will not only be better, but a million times more convenient than Netflix was to block. That's a bug zapper, you know what I mean? Go to my wish list and get me a chair. Can you please? I'm trying to edit more for you, my God. I call this editing. Love you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we'll be laughing again soon. Especially when I can say the things that I'd like to say about these fruity mother, you know what I mean? Fruity like this meme I'm showing you right now. I'm not talking about anybody and all their, hello, I don't think that's okay. What? <laughs>